So today I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool tool that is one of my favorite tools I think in Photoshop which is the gradient tool and that's actually how I made this background right here that looks somewhat like a fabric and what a gradient tool is is it starts at a bright color and fades into a different color in this one I started it red and I made it fade to black so you can use this in the geometric shapes thing that we're doing right now and I will be showing you that really quick alright so what the gradient tool is is you create multiple colors that blend into each other so before I show you it on the actual geometric shapes document which you can go and download from the Facebook page to try and make your own cool design. Um, I'm going to be showing you on a blank document first. So just create a new document and I'll just create a new layer and call it gradient. And then your gradient tool is located underneath your paint bucket right here. So right now I already have a dis I already have my colors out and it looks like that. But to customize your colors is in the top left right here. So right now I'm just going to reset it by dragging the colors down and out. And I'll make a simple green to black gradient. So how you do this is you can you'll start off with most likely a white and black one with two colors down here and see how you, if you move them it stretches the color more to one side and you could also move the middle piece and this is how your gradient is gonna look on the actual document so if I were to click in the middle and a black is the default color you double click this the swatch right there in the middle and it opens your color palette which you can select a color see how I move it around it changes the gradient so I'm gonna make a purple and it's gonna be fading to green and if I wanted more green instead of more purple I'd drag this thing and if I wanted more black than purple I'd go over here and click on that swatch and make it like that so now it'll fade from green to purple to black and everything in between so then you click OK when you're done customizing your gradient and you click and drag see if you make a small one it'll condense all your colors and have the outside color on the on the end that actually looks pretty cool and if you drag farther out it'll stretch your colors so this is something you're gonna wanna play around with that actually looks really cool I was not expecting it to look that cool so more options up here is right now we're using a circular circular gradient and if you want to use a just side to side completely linear gradient it'll look like that and you can use this it kind of rotates to make a three-dimensional pattern almost like you're in a cone and then there's a, another linear one but it comes from both sides instead of fading just from one side to the other and then there's one that looks like a star that has all your colors in a diamond in the middle so that looks pretty cool and what I'm gonna be using is the circular one so now that we have that figured out oh yeah you also have your opacity normal paint stuff if you wanted to make the opacity 24%, you can make it less. Put some more layers underneath that to add some cool effects. But for now, let's go back to the geometric shapes pattern and use our selection tools that we had before. So, let's say you wanted to... Here, I'm going to make a new layer and call this one selection good enough <laughs> and then open your magic wand located up here and 
click a box, then you hold command or control on a Windows to select another box, or it's shift, yeah, sorry. You hold shift to select another box, and you just keep selecting however many you want, wherever you want. Remember you also have the contiguous thing up here where if you uncheck it, it selects all of that color on the layer. So I'm just going to make some quick selections here to show you what this does. So you see how I have a bunch of different areas selected and as I'm selecting I'm holding down shift so that it selects them all, not just an individual and then deletes it then an individual. So now if I go to my gradient tool, and I still have my colors predefined up here, if I drag a gradient across this, across this whole layer, it won't make a gradient across the whole thing and cover it up. It'll actually go in between where I've selected and just fill in those spots with a gradient, which could add, could make for some cool effects. So if I drag my gradient, you see how it still is fading but it goes from black to purple to green and it just goes throughout the entire document and right now I'm using a circular so if I were to use a linear then it would just fade from green up here to purple to black and there's some pretty cool stuff you could do with gradients like I, I'll go over filters a little bit later in the Photoshop series but that's how I made this background right here which looks pretty cool and I'm you can use gradients in your geometric shapes project it's not officially a project but it's pretty fun to mess around with I, you can look at some examples on the Facebook page I'll provide the link to that in the description and look at what some other people have done and try to try to find your own pattern within these uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I think next lesson I'll be showing you guys the lasso tool. I uh, just I know I said I would show you guys the lasso tool next, but then I realized that the gradient would help you guys a lot with this project. So I'll show you guys the lasso tool next. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and comment. Tell me how I'm doing. Thanks.